Good morning. Good morning. It's very early. Hear how quiet it is. Got some birds flying around. At the pool out here. The kids came by yesterday to swim. There's a little bird making a nest in that that uh behind that mermaid that's up on that shelf right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um very, very here are the chickens. Yeah, it's uh let's see, nine fifty. Extremely, extremely early start this morning. Um I'm gonna continue my series. Welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm gonna <laughs> That's a that's a great start. Um, I'm gonna continue my series on my reaction to my original videos when I started the channel. I did the first video the other day. If you didn't get to see that, go back and watch it. It's pretty funny. And uh, to kind of recap, these are the the videos that I made when I was um, still working, and it was my last, you know, like 45 days of working. So let's look at video. Number two. Well, it is day 6,136. 34 more days left with students. 10 more days after that without the students. Um, the reason I actually ended up calculating that out is because apparently when you're getting ready to retire, every single person that talks to you has to ask you, how many days have you got left? So... Um, I calculated that out so I could give them the answer. Every time somebody asks me now, they go, how many days you got? I can say, oh, I got 34 days. Absolutely true. Everybody asks you, how long do you have left? How long do you have left? Which is what's so crazy is everybody knows how many days of school that everybody knows how many days of school. Believe me, if you ask a teacher how many days of school they have left, it could be the second week of school and they could tell you exactly how many days are left. <laughs> well, until the kids are out. Now, it's like not even working if the kids aren't there. Um, so that's that's true. Uh, the other thing is the title. I was like, I, these titles that I made back, I didn't know what I, I didn't know what I was doing, guys. Not like today, I know how to make a title. You got to know how to how to put some uh, clickbait on there to get people interested in seeing your video. So, you know, if you need to know, that's how many I've got, 34. Um, yesterday, you know, to be honest, I, I, I was not able to figure out who whose imprint went into this clay. Um, the more I look at it, the more it matches mine. Uh, I don't remember going into the art room and smashing everybody's clay with my left fist, but... Uh, now, of course, I just violated my Fifth Amendment rights there and admitted on video to a crime um, where I smashed that clay in that teacher's art room. And uh, But it's not true. I, I, that was a lie. That was a lie. There may be, a, just a disclaimer, there may be some things on these videos I may exaggerate um, in, in all in attempt to tell a good story. Because if you're not coloring it up a little bit you're not trying if you're going to make a video and you're going to tell a story you need to juice it up some the truth is never very interesting that kind of went to a dead end so i was not able to do that and uh, to be honest with you i didn't really try all that hard because i've only got 34 days left before i can retire and the truth comes out <laughs> oh and notice that was the first time in the first video and this video that I actually smiled, a genuine smile, and was brought about by saying, I've only got 34 days. Well, it's getting every day. I'm getting happier and happier, guys. So I didn't spend a lot of time trying to figure out who uh, mashed the clay with their hand. Um, today, I have meetings all day on testing. I don't even want to talk about testing, but uh, 30, let's see. I will have at least five meetings today. I'm sure I'll probably have more than that. Uh, you know, apparently that's one of the things that I have figured out in education after all these 29 years is that the longer you're in it, the more meetings you have. 
Um, and I'll tell you a little secret about teachers. Every teacher thinks that what they have to say is the absolute most important thing in the world. Facts. <laughs> I had five meetings that day. And, and they were all, it was, let's go, I got stuff to do, I got stuff to do. I'm telling you, by the time I retired, when I first started teaching, we'd have a meeting maybe once a week or once a month. And by the time I retired, and I started in 1989, by the time I retired, there were day. I mean, there would be times where it would be two or three days of meetings a week as an administrator. It was crazy. We met and met and met and talked about stuff we needed to do and talked about them. I'm like, oh God, it was horrible. I wish I hadn't watched that part. That That's like traumatic. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. The only meeting I have today is whatever kind of meeting Tammy calls. And I don't, she hasn't called any meetings yet, but it could happen at any second. Uh, I know it's very early. 9.58 now um, but there could be a meeting today and it may involve uh, coming to Jesus um, just talking in general uh, it could be a meeting about future I don't know it could be I, 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 it could be about anything but there could be a meeting today but not five and when you get into a meeting with everybody and they're all teachers you can imagine what that's like so I'll be doing that today um, I only got one teacher conference done yesterday I have about 11 or 12 that I observe so I have to try to get some of those done today I don't know when I'm gonna do that outside of all these meetings that I'm having about testing uh, but I'm sure today is gonna be a good day um, we'll see how it goes the longer I talk the more depressed I well, I'm sure today is going to be a good day. <laughs> the more I realized how much ah, the the what is it? The weight of the crown, or the crown weighs heavy on the head. Man, that crown was weighing heavy on my head that day. I was going to have to go observe those teachers, and you know. If I was a teacher, and I was, uh, I'd like the administrator to come into my room in a good mood, feeling pretty positive and, and, and everything's kind of cool. I wouldn't want them coming into my room <laughs> just beat to death in five meetings. Uh, so whoever I may have observed that day, I may or may not have uh, done the best job observation-wise I've ever done, but I can assure you this. It was my complete and full desire that every observation I did of any teacher was going to be good. Period. I, I was going. You, you would really have to force my. You'd have to make me give you a bad observation, and a lot of them did. They made me. Have a good day. Day six thousand one hundred thirty-six. Fantastic ending. I. I that's all I can say. Absolutely outstanding. Man, I started off that great, but the very end of that video, there was so much energy and positivity and sunshine. Sunshine. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, still had that brief little moment where I smiled just, just for a second at the thoughts of, of 34 days of kids left and then as I began to think about what the day held for me uh, why why does that even bother me now why should I be concerned with the things I had to do I'm not <laughs> I'm, absolutely, I'm absolutely not I'm up at the crack of 10 o'clock I'm out here enjoying nature making me a little video for you guys having a good time and looking forward to whatever meetings may occur and listening to these birds hey birds and after i listen to the birds a little bit i'm gonna go talk to my 
cats. Um, not going to go fishing because it's the weekend. And I don't want to go out there and fight all those guys that are going to work like I was back then. See how I was? Um, that's how those guys are right now. And uh, they're trying to have a good time today and going fishing. And I don't want to get in their way. I don't want to go out there and be all happy in front of them and stuff like that and get them angry at me. I'm just going to stay laid back. And then on Monday, when they're all back at work, I'll get out there and have a good time. And I won't bother them or be in their way or be happy in front of them. So you guys have a good day as we look forward to Monday. I'm finally over my little illness that I had for about a week. And I feel a lot better. Feel great. Fantastic. Great day. Thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Uh, all the positive things. Good vibrations to everybody today.